Yeah, as far as De La Hiva, you're saying they smash you like they're shin cutting across your De La Hiva hook? They just step over the leg. Oh. And, and then I'm either trying to kind of go to shallow lasso and push off and remove the leg and put it back onto the bicep. Or sometimes like as soon as they step over, I try to push them to the side so I can enter maybe x or something. But I just feel like it's tough. Like I get tired once I'm there. Like the only time I feel comfortable with the Lahiva is as soon as I pull into the Lahiva, mm -hmm. I start cutting the corner right away to go baby bolo. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll go uh, deep the Lahiva, or deep X or mm -hmm. whatever. That's fine. You like to play with the foot on the outside, outside of the hip for De La Hiva? I like to play. I usually, I usually keep my foot actually without the foot in. Okay. Sometimes when I go here, I get like, they do the pass or they go over the shin a lot. Uh -huh. I keep this a lot until I'm going for the, to the side. Mm-hmm. And, and just like, mm -hmm. and I just put the corner over mm -hmm. Uh huh. I like that too. But like a lot of times I'm here, and then you'll eventually get this, and then pinch your knee, and then I'm like, you get side smash. I get yeah, side smash and then too. I, I'm like, I can't, and then I get yeah. tired, and yeah, and they're too close. And now they have your collar. Yeah, and then I'm trying to break this. And yeah, and once they have the collar, it's like almost over for you yeah, on someone yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. Um, I would say. The first thing, I know we, we're going to get into tarantula too, yeah. but I just know you're getting ready for tournaments. So kind of wanted to like pick your brain, see if you had any questions. Um, for De La Hiva, it's fine if you don't want to play with the hook, but you don't want to be square with them because now their shoulders are square with you and it's going to be really easy for them to step over the leg here. You want to start working on keeping an angle. So now you see her body sideways. She's gonna have to clear the hook and start stepping and then re-squaring with you. Yeah. So you wanna, I mean, I know you've probably been told this. Um, this is also gonna, if you do wanna put that hook back in, it's gonna make it much easier to do that. If you're square, I don't think I would be able to put the hook in here either. I would just be thinking about putting the pressure like you're doing. Mm -hmm. um, but to start going for the back, you're gonna be closer from this position or, and your hook is gonna be able to hook like here we'll turn this way so you can see your hook is going to be able to wrap around their leg the more of an angle you make the more it's going to be able to wrap around like this and now you're closer to your back takes and everything that you like to work um, and also putting your foot on the hip and just leaving it here is making it really easy for them to step over because it's just right there it's just a little movement for them to step over it so I wouldn't put it on the hip until you're ready to use it to kick. So I would hide it here, or I would put it here so that they can't step over the leg so easily. That's what I would do. For this one? Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like to bring the hook all the way to this side because, you know, they, they're going to try to square with you, right? So I put it here if I can, and then it's just getting to the pants right away. And then you can go here and start going for your leg drag if you want. Um, or you can do like the crab right hook, which is probably the other one that you like to do. Um, but yeah, I would say like work to keep your angle. Always work to keep that angle. And that's gonna make all your bolos and everything you like attacking so much closer. It's gonna be so much easier for you to get to it. And then if they break your collar, you're just stepping and you're making your angle. So try to think about not being so square with them. You want to use this leg on the hip. You want to always be going this way. So if they start to square, I'm always going this way. I'm like Maybe scooting. Good, do you like to hold the belt or the pants? Or I usually go here. Yeah. yeah, I usually go here. Um, the other thing that helps me too is uh, keeping this leg really close. So another way, yeah, another way they're gonna start breaking it down is by scooting this foot away from you, right? So they'll step over and they'll start backing out and they'll start going to this like leg weave position a lot. And then if it's far away, this is when they're gonna shin cut across it and start killing that hook too. So you really wanna always be pulling with this grip. And if they do step over, you wanna sit up on your elbow right away. 
like this. You never want to be flat on your back. Okay. I actually play Delahiva sitting up on my elbow most of the time. Um, the only time I'm not is if they aren't stepping over the leg and I may be like thinking more X guard entries, that kind of thing, and I have a really good collar grip. But if they step over, you need to sit up. Then it's gonna be really hard for them to start going for the side smash and the knee cut. So you gotta get used to always sitting up, always sitting up on that elbow. Um, and then it sounds like you're mostly thinking about your off balance to the back, but you need to work on the front off balance too, which I know you've probably learned the like X guard entry and all that. Um, it's just going between those two. So you never feel like they're impossible to move. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I also switch entirely to just, like, if I manage to grab the sleeve, uh -huh. then I'll kick up and come up for singles or... Oh, like, set up guard. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. I mean, that's going to be... Like, yeah, and that's going to be easier from this angle, too. Like, say they try to grab your pants, that's going to be easier from here, too. Now I'm already at the correct angle, yeah. right? It's going to be really hard squared with them. They're going to step over you. They're going to catch your leg as you go. Um, so that's going to be better at that angle as well. It's just going to make the whole guard a lot stronger. And then the other one is just sitting up on your elbow here, but then pulling the leg to you. Like you don't want to sit up on your elbow and let them bring this leg away from you. So you got to sit up on the elbow. And I'm kind of tucking it under me. So I'm not sitting straight up. That's going to be hard. It's going to be like a crunch. You got to kind of tuck your elbow under you like this. And now you can use this middle leg to bring them to the side with the collar grip, like that off balance, sideways off balance you work. Or you can bring them forward if they're resisting that one. What do you do if, um, if they break your collar, uh -huh. but then they keep the sleeve and they're like, they're like pulling this arm so they denied you this? Uh -huh. Like, how do you break that? I don't. I re-grab their sleeve. Oh, you just... Okay, so you some... Just... Yeah, so sometimes I think, like, they have a grip on me. I'm going to re-grab and make it my grip now. You know what I mean? I'm not going to just allow them to have that control. I'm going to grip too. And now I'm going to pull. So <laughs> that's a good way to actually get the sleeve. If they go to here and they keep it, usually they'll keep it with the other hand. But it doesn't matter. You can go this sleeve too. And now you have the control, and you just row it to you. Now you can, go. Mm -hmm. now you can do your sit-up. Sorry, sit-up. Um, if it is this sleeve, this is good control too. Because now if I start working my hook, I don't have anything blocking me from going under. So I can go this way too. So I like the cross sleeve a lot as well. But normally I get that when they are trying to break my Delahiva. I'll go here, and I'll break the, the grip this way. Um, but yeah, I think staying, making that angle, getting up on your elbow and always doing the off balances back and forth and back and forth. Anytime you feel like the position is stagnant and you're having trouble going for your attack, you need to create movement again. Then that'll start opening them up. If you don't and if you just stay still, that's when they're gonna start breaking it down. Yeah. So anytime you feel like a still position, start creating movement again, start off balancing, and then you'll probably find some kind of attack. But yeah, those would be the two things. Yeah, I also need to, I just need to practice more from this sleep too. Like, I feel like when I get here, um, I don't practice this as much. Yeah. It's like sitting up from this one. So sometimes I just end up with this one and I'm like, oh, I know I should probably maybe enter x or something, but I'm not. Yeah, sure. you also have the simple tripod sweep from that sleeve. So this is another thing you can practice. If you get this sleeve, a lot of times I'll use this leg to block their arm so they don't step over, but you can start entering for your simple tripod. And then if they fall and they start to come up again, they'll usually bring this knee to them. So turn on the other hip, oh, they'll go way. this way. Mm -hmm. And this is your entry. On someone good, they're not usually gonna get if swept. If they go the other way, you can just come up because you have that control. Yeah, they won't really be able to stand yeah. up if they go the other way. But someone good will usually fight the sweep and then you'll just get your entry that way. Yeah, yeah.